for every 100 shillings that he has, 60 shillings has been claimed by his debtor. So if you use that money to pay debt, it means it's not available to cover other things. But broke means we are not paying our bills on time. But I think we overloaded on that. Now that's how serious it is. It's possible, it depends on how we manage our financial uh, position. It's, it's really, really possible. I think one of the things that happened for, for the African continent, not Kenya, but the rest is, towards the end of uh, the last millennium and towards the middle of, 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 of this decade, uh, the rest, African countries were growing quite well. Then of course there was the financial shock that started in the US and all that. So most of Europe and the US had lower growth rates. Africa had growth, uh, high growth, yeah. and therefore, international money was cheap in relative terms. Then African countries decided to take a lot of money and uh, they were well-meaning in the sense that we wanted to construct infrastructure when the money was cheap and use that to construct. Uh, for, but I think we overloaded on that. It's just like a guy who, um, whatever, however healthy food is, I mean, if you, if you feed too much of it, it's obviously going to pay. So some of these we have not spent in the way that uh, we could have, I mean, in, in ways that have actually given us, like our SGR. It's a big project. It was well meant, but it's clearly not delivered the, the magic to the economy that we expected it to do. And now comes the time for payment, just at the same time that the dollar is getting stronger. So our exposure is higher because now for Kenyan shillings, if the dollar is stronger, it means, not for Kenya, but for other countries, if the dollar is getting stronger, it means that your, your debt that is denominated in dollar suddenly is is more expensive in domestic terms than it was before. And I hope that's actually the risk that we shouldn't run in Kenya because right now, of all our close to six trillion in debt, 50% is owed locally. No, actually it's a little bit more externally and, 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 and locally. So if it's external debt, if our shilling should suffer, then we, our debt would, catch, would actually balloon yeah. and that would be a real, real risk. That's one of the things for which we have to be watchful. Yeah.